Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to customize the News app on your Mac to show you only the news you want. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I think the News app on the Mac and also on the iPhone and iPad is a great way to read news articles. Much better than looking at individual websites in a web browser. The News app aggregates news from different sources and displays them very nicely in a format where you can read them basically ad free. But I hear some people complain they don't like the variety of news that the News app will show them. But you can customize this completely to your liking. You don't need to stick with the default set of news which is going to be a mix of things like politics, technology, sports, and all sorts of different categories. Some of which you may not want to read. So when you go into the News app by default you're going to see just a general selection of news from a wide variety of sources. Now if you really want to start to customize it to have it show you news that it thinks you may like you can do that by going to File and then Discover Channels. And you can start there by adding some of the sources you like. Once you do that it will customize what you see based on those selections. And then when you're in an article you can give thumbs up and thumbs down to further curate future stories that you'll see. But you can go much further than that specifically stating the types of news or the news sources that you want to see. So to do that just go to the search field here and type a search term. So let's say I just want to customize news to only show me science news. So I can search for science and then I could see in the search results here there's topics which will only show me news that's tagged as science. It will come from various sources. I could also look at current stories that fit the search criteria here. So for instance say I spot a story here from a publication. I can go in and look at that. I can specifically follow this publication. So if I go all the way to the bottom of this article here you'll see More From and the name of the publication and a Follow button. Click that and now that publication will appear under Following. So let's go back and find more by going into the topic for science here looking at some of the other things I see. So here's a publication and the same thing when I go to the bottom of this article here even if it's not the specific article I'm interested in I'll find Follow and I can add that. Now following publications is going to tell news that you like those publications and you'll see more stories from them. So let's say now that you've added a bunch of publications that you're following. If you just want to see news from one publication you can use this list right here just to view articles from that one publication. But if you want to change your Today view to only show the publications you're following just go to News, Preferences and select Restrict Stories in Today. This will restrict Today to only the publications you're following. So I'm going to do Command R for Refresh. It will refresh. Sometimes it takes a few tries and only show me stories from the publications I follow. So it helps to have a lot of different ones that you're following here in order to fill this up with new material every day. In addition you can restrict what's shown here on the left. If you don't want to see special coverage sections which change all the time you can click here to collapse that. The suggestions you can also collapse those as well. And even though you've restricted today to only the stories from sources you're following you can go and search for other types of news. So if I want to see some local news here I can search for Colorado and see other sources in the search results. To remove anything from here you can swipe to the left to unfollow or Control click and unfollow channel is there. One thing that you could do is simply forget about specific publications and instead add topics. So let me search for science and you can see in topics here I can just use the plus button add it to what I'm following. Now if I go to Today and after it refreshes I'm only going to see science news here. But you can see it comes from a variety of different sources. I'm not following any sources in particular. Just this topic. It's easy to experiment and change things. Add sources. Remove them. Add topics and remove them. And get it to the point where it shows you news that you're interested in reading in a format that's much better than reading them on the web. And of course you get much more if you subscribe to Apple News Plus. But a lot of people are subscribed to Apple News Plus simply because they're using one of Apple's bundles. That would include several different services. So you may have Apple News Plus even if you're not specifically subscribing to it. I'm using the Apple One Premier Bundle 
which pays for itself in terms of the iCloud space and Apple TV Plus and Apple Music. But in addition to that for really nothing extra I get Apple Arcade and Apple News Plus. So there are even more sources that I could read in the Apple News apps on my Mac, iPhone, and iPad. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.